Hello everyone, my name is Gianni and today I'm gonna show you two methods to add halation to your videos in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump straight into the edit page and let's see how to do that. So the first method uses the built-in halation effect and the second one uh, custom made approach. Let's start with the first method. So right here I have a clip to add halation to this clip. I need to go to the color tab, click on effects and search for the halation effect and then drag that on top of our node. And right here I have all the settings to customize uh, the effect. At the moment you can see the effect is very weak. Let's make it a little bit nicer by changing a few settings. Starting with the color space. Right now I'm using the DaVinci White Gamut, so that's, that's my color space. Then to change the threshold I usually like to check this box so that I can see what areas are being affected and I can increase or decrease the threshold, I think a 0 0.192 looks good. There is a little bit of the uh, subject, some reflection behind the subject, the lights, the reflection on the car and the lights. So that's very good. Normalization is usually a value that breaks my image so I don't like to touch that too much. We can increase a little bit the film saturation level but again, if we go up too much is gonna break our image. So let's keep that to a low value. And then let's uh, change few settings right here to make the effect a little bit more uh, reddish and more glowy. So let's start with the strength. Typically I like to go down a little bit and uh, go down also with the gamma to let's say 1.1. Saturation can go up to 1.1 one, one. and the spread also to let's say 0, 0.5 and then for the secondary glow we definitely need to increase that to let's say 0, 0.2 and change the filter to something that it's on the red side so that it looks it looks nicer uh, maybe maybe this color looks good let's click OK Again, we can really go crazy, but I prefer to stay around 0, 02. The gamma, maybe around 1, 1, 2. And then the spread, it's, it's really where we can play around and like go crazy. So here it's really up to the editor's uh, taste to change uh, how much you want your effect to be glowy or not. And now if we click on the node you'll see the before and after. So that's how you add halation to your videos with the halation effect. Now let's take a look at the second method. So let's reset this node. Let's close the effects tab and, and let's right click, go to composite mode, set the composite mode to screen then go to the blur tab, increase the radius, click on the color wheels, go for a value in the reddish area, something like that should look good. And now we can select which area we want to affect. Right now all the image is being affected by this um, change in the color wheels but we don't like that we just want the highlights to be affected so we can hit the middle of our uh, curves and just drag that down as you can see now only certain areas are being affected if i go up you'll see that also the background is being affected and if i go down only the highlights so that's good now the effect is very very strong so let's go to the key tab and let's go down with the key output. To a value between let's say 0, 01 and 0, 03 maybe like a 0, a 0, 03, 0, 0, 02, I guess 0, 03 it's much better. Yeah, something like that and because it looks still a little bit on the 
purple side I'll just move the color more to the yellow side and there you have it now if we click you can see the before and after and that's how you add halation to your videos in DaVinci Resolve for more tutorials make sure to subscribe see you in the next one